Alright Nick, these probably aren't the best throws to use for comparison just because the angles are so different and they're not in the well, mainly because the angles are different, but I, I just wanted to show you a couple things. Um, what I saw here good out of the back I still think this could be Dorsey flex a little more, like point that take that toe up a little more as you enter the center. Now what I noticed from the non is that right grounds pretty well there, pretty much in the center. Now one thing too here, watch this that left knee. It's just over rotating a little bit and then you extend pretty long which gets that foot high but right still grounds in a good position now keep in mind that that left knee over rotating just a little bit because what you'll see here is that it opens up past that left sector line and then it extends hard and then that right side ends up being a little bit too long just a little too long and then I feel like you get caught with this pretty bad lean I don't, I don't, I don't think you typically do that um, let's go back to this nod okay that midfoot hits decent position right knee should be rotating around which you do well but now here's where I want you to this foot sliding so the support system is here and as it's you're starting to rotate right there you're already starting to lose some see how it's sliding forward everything's gonna go up that right side and it never really rotates into that left that you lose that support system through through the finish here because of that slide because that's typically where you end up jumping out of the foals up here so let's go back like right here this from this frame especially that frame these two frames you lose a lot there so let's say this is where we start to trigger your, your jump and I think that you could be and you can see in this throw right here here it's the exact same thing it's just in the non reverse it's not as apparent because you're not actually getting off the, the concrete but you are losing that double support early and all all it could be is is on this on this throw you hold that through this frame okay and you can see that heel never really kicks out because you're losing that support so through this frame you should that that sliding should not be occurring you should still be grounded and I I prefer that left heels down which in that that throws lecture I just did um, Rose Lecture 11. I don't know if we sent that to you yet, but that'll help with that left foot. That'll help clear. So here, when when you over rotate a little bit with that right, it's just a little too deep. And then this is a point, point, same point as in the non, where you lose that contact. And so I I always say get on to that left. So it should be right rotates that knee like and your knees not rotating as well as it typically does in, in your full throws when that right knee rotates into that flat left foot that right heel will kick out and then at this point where you lose contact on the right well probably around 
around here is where you should lose contact. And I still think you should be grounded there, actually. If you're sitting on that finish, sitting into that left heel, you should hold contact there. Here, discus comes out, you lose that right side, and it rotates around and through the finish. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed your, your girl doing this little dance here. You can sort of see when you play the, the top one in motion, there's like a little scoop. It's just like that little delay here, and you do this little scoop and jump. Instead of staying a little more level, you know, and that all goes back to that left knee over rotating a little bit too much extension off that left. Dumps the shoulders a little bit. Jump. Good. I mean, you also travel and stuff, so all that has a factor, obviously. <laughs>